I'd like to call to order the Public Works and Engineering Services Committee meeting for October the 24th. Pledge for quorum this morning. Make a motion to approve. Second. Johnson, we good? Ready for your approval, Mr. Chairman. Patients make consent. We'll go right into the debate. Titus? Sir. Good morning. Uh, the first item we have for your consideration is an independent contractor agreement with the development group for abatement and demolition of some remaining structures on Fury's Ferry. So once the project started and the right of way was certified uh, on the Fury's Ferry Road widening project, it was discovered by staff and the contractor that there were some remaining abandoned structures within outside of the right of way, but within the limits of construction. Um, one's a, an abandoned shed and one's an abandoned mobile home unit. Um, we reached out to the, to the TA office to get their guidance to make sure we were doing in accordance with um, their requirements, and uh, they started us to ensure that we had a GDOT approved contract to remove it to do the abatement and whatnot as required. Um, so we reached out. We got three uh, quotes for the abatement and demolition, with the development group being the lowest and most responsive. Uh, uh, the total amount for both parcels or both demolitions on these, these parcels is $47,336.40. Staff recommends approval. Paid out of uh, yeah. lost funds. Sir. Move to consent. Second. So move. The next item we have is an independent contract agreement with Ardura for the Chastain Place Turn Lane Project. Um, over the past seven years, we've had over 13 accidents, uh, primarily rear end collisions at this intersection. It's a two lane, uh, 45 mile an hour posted speed uh, section of Chastain, um, of William Few Parkway in front of Chastain Place. Um, <clears throat> in addition to the significant amount of traffic uh, accidents, there's a lot of uh, congestion during AM and peak in, PM peak hours along this corridor. Um, so, uh, staff's looked into this, and we uh, feel confident that adding a left turn lane uh, here at this location and potentially extending the right turn lane, there's a right turn lane there existing, but we believe it may be a little short. Um, so, we, uh, we reached out to several firms. We received five proposals to do the design, survey design permitting for this intersection improvements, and uh, Ardura was the lowest, most responsive in the amount of $84,900. Uh, this would also be funded out of T of discretionary funds. Um, if approved, Ardura's uh, leaves the timeline six months to have a set of bid, bidding documents ready to let to construction. Staff recommends approval. That's made. Washington. Yes, sir. We've done. Once we get this. That's correct. We've we've done four or five uh, in the last few years along William Few, and uh, this will be the last major uh, intersection widening uh, to allow that corridor to operate smoothly. Any way to expedite the process? They they have to survey they have to survey, uh, design it and get it permitted. Um, and prior to surveying, they have to do uh, utility locates. Um, that's a process. And then there may or may not be environmental impacts, which could impact the permitting process. And that's because the Uchi Creek way is is correct. Correct. It's directly west. Right. Of it, yes. Already been. Right below it between there's there's a neighborhood to the west of Chastain Place that's working its way through plan review now. And we're gonna be sure that we coordinate with them and they have uh, requirements placed under them to where they tie in and it's seamless and, and Chairman will certainly move it forward as quickly as possible. Second. Second. So move. This next item is an agreement with the University of Georgia Research Foundation for water level monitoring associated with the 319, uh, the Lakeside Park 319 grant project. Um, 
as a part of the grant, uh, we are required to report uh, pre-development and post-development or pre-improvement and post-improvement conditions of the, uh, the downstream uh, water levels uh, to, to be able to provide some empirical data showing the importance of maintaining these, uh, these green infrastructure GI projects um, and the impacts if you don't maintain them. But it's a, it's a requirement of the grant that we do this um, through the University of Georgia uh, Research Foundation. Uh, they've committed to covering half of the cost. The total cost is $11,500. They've committed to covering half. The other half would be fronted by the stormwater infrastructure fund, which would be reimbursed by the grant. So this is a, a upfront cost of $5,750, but it would uh, be reimbursed by the grant. So no uh, staff recommends approval. Move to consent. Second. This next item is an independent contractor agreement with Benish for the Uchi Creek Greenway Multi-Use Trail Project. This project started in 2013 uh, with WR Tools, who is now Benish. Um, the design was completed in 2018. Because funding was not identified at the time that the project was completed, the project was shelved um, until funding was identified. Uh, the the Agenda item, I apologize, but the agenda item shows this to be funded out of Transportation, uh, the TIA, Transportation Investment Act uh, two. Uh, however, uh, county management identified funding through uh, SPLOS contingency, 2017-2022 SPLOS contingency, that we would prefer this be funded out of. Um, so what we are asking Benish to do is to pick up the existing plans, do a quality control review of those plans, make any updates that are needed, and re-permit, reacquire all the permits that have since expired. Um, Benish has proposed to do that for $53,775. This, too, we expect to take six months, but that's uh, two to three months worth of actual quality control plan updates and uh, applying for permits, and then another three months of permit acquisition. Um, th this is environmentally sensitive, so it would want to go through that permitting process. I recommend uh, plans back or we going to the horses and we going to the as soon as we get the plans and the permits back we will let it for construction we'll advertise for bids accept bids and let for construction and this um, I apologize but this this is the section from Wrightsboro Road and Grove Town to connect the Canterbury Farms and did we not put the balance of the project into the Yes, sir, we did. We, uh, we did that. We also had a contingency project in the 17 to 22 spots in case we did not need the hospital money, uh, which this is one of the projects, 2.7 million, 2.6 million, somewhere around there that we had in contingency money. So now that we have that money freed up, I've advised Kyle to go ahead and start the process with that money and get it going. And then the remaining phases north of uh, Patriots Park will all be the tier. Time of arrival. I believe Hope has actually already reached out to TIA to start the process of getting that money allocated to us. You know, TIA 2 is all GDOT. All the T-SPOS money goes to right. GDOT. It's their program. We then apply to take over those projects from them, and we do that. They give us authorization to, to manage the projects, pay the bill, and we resubmit an uh, invoice. They reimburse us. So Hope has started the process to get that contract together so that we can then put that in front of commission for approval so we can then start design on the On TIA, was it Tier 2? I believe it was Tier 2. Which we're only in the first year of, of the collections, and Tier 2 doesn't start until 2026, I believe. Right, Six and this seven, so. great project to fill the gap. Yes, sir. Trying to advance the project with some money. Move to consent. What year, I'm sorry? <laughs> I'm just still, will I still he be even counting, in office? He had, no, he's sir. just counting up hill no, no, no. Well, we'll, on the sign. As, Not really. <laughs> as Hope gets the, the agreements uh, to the board and approved by the board, um, we, he has been very uh, forthright with hey, any of these projects we can advance, we want to, especially in the design phase, so they're ready to hit construction whenever the year hits. So as 
soon as we have the agreements to actually uh, deliver these projects, we'll start design. We'll bring those proposals to you. We'll sign to start them. We don't have them yet, but as soon as we have them, it's possible. Uh, unlike New Mexico, however, getting involved because of that green water. Yeah. Quality of life. Yeah, quality of Same. life. <clears throat> Keep in mind, with TIA, we are working for that money with 13 other counties. And I know there was a rumor out there there's $400 million that we, Columbia County, did not spend in transportation dollars. That is not true. I hadn't heard that one. Yeah, it's out there. Um, it was a, somebody said, call your commissioner. They have $400 million. Not true at all. Um, it was all GDOT money. 13 counties are fighting for that money. So GDOT has they've done a very good job of kind of programming that money out. So all 13 counties are getting their piece. It's in, but uh, like Mr. Titus said, they are allowing us to advance design, but they're they're kind of holding to that that earmark for construction dollars. But they collect more than they, they expected. They are advancing projects, so fighting for it. Second, so uh, moved. <clears throat> the uh, last item I have is acceptance of improvements in a permanent easement from River Island. Property Owners Association and the Blackstone Investors Group uh, for sidewalk improvements along Blackstone Camp Road. Uh, whenever the latest section of River Island, uh, Section 2, Phase 3, was constructed, they built a uh, sidewalk between Brant Drive, which is the main run of that section, and River Island Parkway along Blackstone Camp Road. Uh, due to topography and the desire to maintain some screening between Blackstone Camp Road right away and the neighborhood uh, beyond the right of way. Uh, the developer jogged in and out of the right of way in a few places. Um, and this uh, acceptance of the improvements in the easement would allow the county to maintain ownership of and access to the sidewalk where it jogs out of the right of way and the locations as shown on the plat attached. Um, I think it's four different locations. Uh, so we're in agreement with that so that we can maintain the sidewalk. Um, so staff, that's the acceptance. Second. 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 It's already done. It brings it up to a, it connects it from Brant Drive all the way to River Island Parkway where there's a crosswalk across the road and a sidewalk goes all the way to Stongs Island Middle School. Yes. Two consent. Second. So moved. Driver, thank you, sir. Staff reports. <laughs> yes, sir. I have uh, the year-to-date budget reports and the <coughs> sewer construction project reports uh, for your review, and I'm prepared to answer any questions you may have. Still on track with the uh, water treatment. Uh, the only hiccup we've had this past week is there's a some of our metering pumps won't meet the low flow. We're having a hard time, so they're having to order new metering pumps to meet the specs. They don't that'll we can run the system, we just can't run it at 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 low flow, you know, wintertime usages. Um so that'll probably be January, February before we get those pumps in and can complete that part of the project. But uh we should be able to finish everything else up. All the time. Just Times just tasting odor season from June to November. In general, on the sewer force thing to Uchi Creek, are those property acquisitions, I know we have a few outstanding. Um, you said the force main project. Mm -hmm. uh, most of those are done. We still have, we have everything done up to Longer Hume, Hume Road. Um, we don't have any after that. So we have, but those are mostly big tracks. We don't have any small tracks left to go. Just to clarify, that's that's the one coming out of White Oak. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Make sure we're talking about the well, one. the other one too. How's the other? Uh, the <laughs> other one we have, I think, twenty-one or twenty-two complete out of the fifty. Question. I saw somebody come in. I mean, uh, from leadership, from would you like to stand up and introduce yourself and let us know company you? Want?
Thank you for coming. I have a couple of session, uh, executive session items. Motion we move into the full board. Second. With that, we are adjourned.